What job exists because we are stupid? Sometimes, I feel like my job has been invented for stupid people. I am a mechanic. Most of the times it's doing hard things that the customers don't necessarily have the tools or experience to do. But there is always this guy, that comes with the complaint, car is doing a weird noise when I take a bump, so naturally you test it, and find where the noise is coming from, and that's how it goes with the customer me. I found your trouble see, yay. What is it, me? It seems the umbrella under your passenger seat is loose. Of course we value and need emergency room workers. But we might need fewer of them if people weren't stupid. Conversion camps sadly still exist. Influencer. I used to work in fraud prevention for a bank. Basically if customers gave their card details to scammers or got scammed we would help them try and recover the money. We also dealt with a lot of genuine customers whose payments were stopped for checks by the system. I wouldn't say the job wouldn't exist per se, but in a world where no one was careless with their bank details the banks would require far fewer fraud team staff. In Japan they have a permanent employee dedicated to assisting people at the ATM. Dogecoin investor. My husband is a desktop support tech, and while his job wouldn't go away entirely, it would probably only be part-time if not for stupid people. People accidentally kick out a cord or turn something off. They move something to the wrong folder. They can't figure out how to set up their voicemail, in spite of the detailed instructions on the website. They fail to keep up with inventory, which is really very simple when you think about it. If you give Johnny Smith computer number 200,156, you send the tech an email saying, Hi. I just gave Johnny Smith computer number 200,156. Johnny is in room 412. My husband spends weeks tracking down missing equipment that turns out not to be missing at all. Oh well, it's a living. But what truly baffles me is how many people need my husband for office moves. It's tragically simple. Unplug all the things. Carry all items carefully to the next place and plug them back in. You can even take a picture of the original setup or mark the cords ahead of time if you aren't sure you'll be able to do it. I have never in my life required a tech to relocate my computer, in spite of being 54 and having had more office moves in the last decade than I have fingers. Well, like I said, it's a living. Thankfully my husband has the patience of job. Uh, I'll take Reddit mod for $1,000 Alex. CEO of Facebook. Supervisors not because we need instructions on how to do something, but needing to be watched to make sure we do the job not even correctly human security cameras. People have to go into the sewer network to literally smash up these fatbergs I think they call them. When people just tip that bit of oil down the sink after cooking it coagulates and sticks together down there. And if not handled can block that whole section of sewerage network. I've seen it on a documentary and this thing is hideous. So you're underground, literally up to your waist in shit, smashing lumps of fat and God knows what. Splashback is the phrase that keeps appearing between my ears. I don't know how much they get paid, but I can guarantee it's not enough. Edit found a clip for anyone interested lol open mouth smile https colon slash slash u2.be slash 3i underscore axpike oa7q. Any job dealing with gambling. Astrologers. There are a lot of jobs that are required because accidents can happen, but also half of the time, they deal with people's stupidity, like paramedics and EMTs, firefighters, insurance providers, poison control, road assistants, traffic police, etc. Judges in small claims court. If people would just stop being stupid and also own up to when they're wrong we wouldn't need a small claims court at all. 80% of medical jobs in the ER. The person who has to come up with obvious warning labels. Sticking warning labels on everything. Like, oh I don't know, sticking a warning label on peanut containers to inform people that it may contain peanuts. Elevator operators. Influencers. Last time I read a similar post on this sub, there weren't as nonsensical answers. There are billions of dollars spent every year on homeopathy or as I like to call it really high-priced water. Edit. A letter. Garbage cleanup in parks, etc. Teachers, we are born stupid but they give us knowledge. 
being a politician, clearly. College counselors. Not the free ones in school. The ones rich people pay exorbitant amounts of money to in order to hack college admissions. They signify everything wrong with the dumb amount of pressure we put on entering an education system set up such that money is more important than merit. One I'm glad exists as monster truck driver. Big truck go boom boom. There are billions upon billions of dollars spend. Wars waged, genocides committed, for imaginary friends in the sky. Some told to vanish from cave. Others flew away on a white horse, and many more. Still people pay extra for specially slaughtered animals so some ghost speaking specialist can take money for their stamp of approval on the food. There are also other specialists that take money for their special cosmic friend stamps and seals of validation on many occasions. And people pay, and indoctrinate their children to pay and obey. I work at a company that sells ergonomic office chairs and standing desks. My entire job as a live chat rep exists because people are dumb. Most of my job exists to answer questions about things that are clearly listed on the product page in front of them or explaining how to do a hard reset. People keep saying, I turned it off and on again and it's still not working. To which I always need to reply, well did you do an actual full hard reset? The steps are in the instructions you got with the desk, on the help center and on the product page but sure, here are the steps yet again. And, make sure to follow each step exactly or you will cause the reset to fail. Tech support, Nuff said. Tech support it's not there completely because we're idiots, but I've heard people say that nine-tenths times, telling people to use Google Works, forgot username, I think they were on our PC master race. There are a lot of things that shouldn't exist but do because we're stupid, like directions on the back of shampoo bottles. Writers of warning labels. As an ERDOC, I'm going to say our emergency services. There's always a need for emergent care but we'd definitely be less busy if people didn't do stupid things. I don't know if it still exists, but I remember Best Buy offered a service that consisted of sending someone to your house to do the incredibly difficult task of connecting your video game console to the TV. Yeah, there were people who paid for it. Honestly the job of police officers, EMTs would be a lot simpler if people were actually responsible while driving vehicles. That position in grocery stores and retail stores that have to stand by all of the self-checkout lanes. Aside from the machines themselves being pain in the asses that need troubleshooting when they break down. We still need other people to assist others in using the damn things. Tax people I forget what they're called but it's because one we can't do math and two the government can't just send us a freaking bill or something. A lot of IT work boils down to, why the duche did you do that? Open that anonymous attachment. Go to that strange website. Install that sketchy software. Never clean your PC in a house with 52 cats. Yeah, people are dumb. Putting speed bumps and slower speed limits near elementary schools. Prison guards. Spell checkers. Che Influencer. OSHA, asterisk getting a lot of kickback on this one. I based my answer off the triangle shirtwaist fire. Where some asterisk idiot asterisk thought it would be a good idea to lock the only exit in a building full of hanging fabric back when everybody still smoked. Why are so many people saying teacher sad face? Not knowing stuff yet isn't being stupid. I wouldn't say stupid. But some people have a mental reasoning or a disability. If we all are without faults, it would be boring. <laughs> Miss Cleo's. Crossing guard. Quite literally teachers. Technically the police. We were stupid so they came into place to stop us from being stupid. Life coach. Realtor. Personal shopper to name a few. Live streamers and vloggers. Conservative politicians. The grocery store worker who has to supervise the self-checkout. Obviously a good percentage of people can't figure it out. The entire health insurance industry. Social media influencers. CEOs of billionaire companies. Locksmith. You lock your keys in your car. Republican politician. All of them. We have the technology to automate our lives. To provide for every person on this planet. Even to replace the irreplaceable jobs with AI. But we're not gonna do it.
Cause we're too fucking stupid to see the benefits of a society where we build something like that. Motherhood is important because we are born stupid. Maybe we need the police for those who don't get smarter. It IT consultant. The one where I have to pry edgy teenagers off of each other. Teach people how to properly have conversations. Yell at trolls. Completely become mentally unhinged because we thought real life drama was worse. Yeet hatred, arrogance, and ignorance into a hole and fucking bury it good because they found it last time. Get a bunch of teenagers and adults with angst so thick it'd be a good mattress to work together and train a group of squirrels with claws and a third grade education on how to work as a team. Yes, I'm talking about online moderation. We exist because people are stupid. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. OSHA not a job but an entire gov organization. TurboTax in America. Other countries just tell you how much you owe or what refund you get. But our country is stupid and some lobbyists bribed some officials to not modernize and to actually screw things up even more. And now we have businesses profiting off us guessing the number the IRS thought of. I must live why out in the sticks. 30 years ago the sinks and washing machines drained into the field behind most people's homes. The septic tank only was far bathrooms LMAO. Yes, all of them. Politician. Hung cocklover. I mean, teachers I guess. Virtually all of them. Manual labor and office work could be done by technology and we know it. Just about everything outside of science, construction and agriculture. Mostly sales. That exists because we are stupid as shit. Ghostbusters. Lollipop men, ladies. Food delivery. It's overpriced enough to eat out at restaurants but now we are willing to pay someone to deliver it just because we are too lazy, stupid, to cook. Car and road makers. We don't need more cars. Our planet has enough carbon monoxide in it. If anything roads should be used only for emergency vehicles and everyone else has to bike it. Fuck out of here if I want to live in a world with cars and busy roads everywhere. As seen on TV products. Are you such an incompetent buffoon that you can't chop an onion without destroying your kitchen and having a complete mental breakdown? Introducing the Onion Slicer 3000. Thanks for watching. See you later.